de facto, the biggest access issue is that it's not a pack of gum that you're paying for. It's an expensive treatment, which means that you need support, either private or public, to treat people. And the biggest problem I have with the way we've done access right now is we've restricted care to people with more advanced liver disease. I would start by, um, by asking the drug companies to show in confidence, but show the people who are going to be doing the paying. So the people in the Ontario Drug Benefit Plan, the other provincial equivalents or the Pan-Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance, show them um, the information around how much does it cost to not only do the R&D on the drug, but also to make the drug. So in other words, to justify the price. Um, dr pricing drugs on the basis of what the market will bear, um, well, you know, that's okay if you're dealing with laundry detergent, um, or if, even if you're, if you're dealing with computers, because laundry detergent doesn't save people's lives. Computers make life easier, but again, doesn't save people's lives. Drugs do. So you have to be sure that the price that you're being, that you're paying for them really reflects what, what it costs to do the research, make the drug, and obviously give the companies a reasonable profit margin. When you're looking at drugs that are selling for half a million or cost half a million dollars a year, is that a generating a reasonable profit margin or is it generating a really excessive profit margin?